Look, my Apple Watch is telling me I have to breathe. Well, here we are. It's been a couple of days, sorry. And it's time for the afternoon session. I sounded awfully Welsh then. The, um, cause it's basically, it's too dark in the mornings now. It's, it's probably dark. So I've, um, yeah, I've switched the recording of the blog to the afternoon session. Hooray. So in the last one, I was a little bit emotional. And I wasn't sure, I don't know whether that was the right thing to publish that or not. And I almost, I almost removed it. But you know, it's honest. It's, uh, when you've got a lot of weight to lose, you, you, it's hard. You, 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 you forget. No, you don't forget. You, you want to lose weight now and Having to wait is is tough, especially when you've got so much to lose. And I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed by the amount of work I have to do and the commitments I've made to people. Everyone on the channel, you, you know, I can't I can't cheat anymore. I've got people subscribing and commenting and following me, and I've got my friends' wedding. I'm going to be a bridesmaid and. I've got holidays and rides to fit into, you know? So, I, I can't, in the past, if I've failed at a diet, it's only me. It's only been me. It hasn't really made any difference. Now I've got, you know, <laughs> a lot of people following and watching and I've made commitments to, so. But, you know, that's a good thing because I'm not going to fail. It's just, Sometimes that self-doubt comes back and you just want to throw in the towel and order a pizza. And everyone will say, everyone will say, I've said it, I, I promise it got retweeted about 50 times when I posted this on Twitter yesterday. Set small goals, don't, don't worry about the big picture. Just have small goals, do them the best you can and the big goal will just happen on its own. So. so there we go. Thank you for all the really kind words. And uh, you know, you know what it's like if you've been in this position. Get back in the saddle, you've just, you know, you have a bad day sometimes, following day, boom, get back on it. Don't, don't be defeated. Oh, and I had a an absolutely brutal session with Sammy, my coach, yesterday. She kicked my ass, so that was fun. <laughs> well, I use the term fun in its loosest sense. In other news, my little studio at home is still nearly finished, but even better nearly finished now than it was. I've got new lights, I've got a new ring light, which is amazing. So I'll be doing far more from the house soon got my new makeup stuff. So that'll be a new channel coming too. It's all going on. It's all going on. Oh, I love Red Bull. I wonder if Red Bull will sponsor me when I'm small. They're not going to sponsor me when I'm fat, which is fair enough. But you know, when I'm small they might. It'd be amazing. I think most of my food budget goes on energy drinks. <laughs> yeah, true story. So today's session is going to be glutes. So always glutes. The glutes. Glutes always keep coming back in. So much bum work. That sounds rude. So today's session is going to be glutes and then some triceps and biceps. So I did shoulders yesterday, and they, and they still hurt, not gonna lie. 
So today um, I did cardio this morning. I had a really good cardio session too. I've got. I want to do a, another episode um, just about the, the the planning I'm doing for next year's mud run. After nearly dying on this year's mud run, and we'll cover that in a separate episode. This is just the. Um, so yeah, today. Bum. Arms. Done. Nice. Oh my God! It's so busy. Oh, why are you so busy, Jim? I hate it here when it's busy. There's never anywhere to park here. Well, technically, I've kind of parked on the grass. But I'm driving a 4x4, so there we go. Time to get my sweat on. Be back in a bit. Bye. Hello. So I'm now barely able to move my legs. Isn't that nice? That really, really hurt in a good way. So that was a, uh, a glute session with a little bit of arms thrown in for luck. And uh, yeah, certainly felt that. You know, I can't recommend getting a coach highly enough. It's so much better if you're trying to lose weight. Join a class, get a coach, don't be alone it's um, it's hard the whole journey is really hard and you need some people in your corner it makes such a difference um, heck you know, comment on my thread as an aside I've had so many new people signing up this last couple of days hundreds of people subscribing thank you all so much I don't know where you're coming from but hi Oh, also, I put a, a post up on Empire Avenue. Hello, Empire Avenue people. Good to have you. It's a long, long, long journey ahead. Every day gets a little bit closer. A lot of people who are trying to lose weight don't like going to the gym. And I totally understand, it can be very, very intimidating. Especially when everybody else there seems to be, you know, really fit and really buff and really strong. It's hard to join a new gym. But the people who will, you know, look at you funny are rare. They have them, all gyms have their assholes, you know. But the majority of people in a gym are all trying to do the same thing that, you, that you're joining for, to change how they look, to change their appearance, to lose weight. And you'll find when you start going and you become regular that you'll meet some new friends there. The, um, the biggest change to me is, I was, I was doing CrossFit for, for quite a while and I really enjoyed CrossFit and it's a very nice community there. But a lot of people who go to CrossFit are already very fit. And it makes it intimidating to join because even though I was going for quite some time, I was always the fat crap one at the back. I was always the last one to finish and people cheer you on and that's fine. But it can be, it just gets you down after a while because, you know, everybody else there is practically breathing fire. So, so if you go to a regular gym and you, and you either get a routine off your coach or you get a routine off the internet or whatever you do, you're doing your own routine. You aren't competing with anybody else. You're really just competing with yourself. And so is everybody else. So, so do that, join a gym. Don't be afraid of people. I'd say work out in the house, but honestly, from my experience, nobody ever does. Everybody buys Reebok steps and a couple of kettlebells and they think, yes, I will work out every morning for about two days and then you stop going. I don't, I don't know why. Because going to the gym takes a lot more effort than training in the house. But I just think because you've made the effort to go out and do the thing, then you, you're more likely to do a full session. I don't know. I have a treadmill in the house. I have my, my treadmill desk and I use that all the time. Join the gym, move, get a plan and follow the plan. That has worked for me anyway, or is working for me. 
you see a lot of people will just turn up and they'll sit around scratching their bum, cherry picking a machine here or a machine there, doing a few things that they quite like that don't hurt much and uh, they'll, they'll spend an hour and do about three exercises. Don't, don't be those people. Those are the people that think all they have to do is turn up and then they can phone Domino's. Now don't get me wrong, I love phoning Domino's. Domino's make amazing pizza. But you kind of, you know, <laughs> you can't phone them very often. <laughs> don't do what I did and phone them. Live on Domino's. Oh, I want a Domino's so bad. I digress. Have a plan. Train the plan. Plan to train. Train the plan. There you go. Should tattoo that somewhere. I'm going to tweet that. I'm, I think it's a really good tweet. Plan to train and then train the plan. <laughs> I have waffled so much. I'm in kind of a good mood. I'm in a much better mood than I was on Sunday with my emotional one. I'm kind of back on, back on track now. I need to tell more jokes. I'm not very funny. Everyone tells me I'm funny. And my videos are not very funny. I need to find a way to make them funny. Boss walks into a bar and the barman says, why the long face? There you go. So here we are, back at the ranch. Because yeah, I live in a ranch. Thank you for watching. As usual, all comments, feedback are welcome. Please subscribe. I keep clicking in the air. I can never remember where the subscribe, subscribe button is going to be. I'm going to get a subscribe button on a stick. And then I can just hold it up and point at the subscribe button. And then that's where subscribe will be. Oh, I probably won't. So, uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do join in, or at least watch this long and painful and sweaty journey to go from where I was and to where I want to be. It's going well. About eight stone down, at least that to go, so we're kind of halfway, and a whole lot of training and posing and makeovers and all sorts to come so thank you very much for watching and I'll, and I won't, I won't see you next time but it's figuratively I'll see you all next time bye